Coelophysis. Its name means hollow form because they had hollow sacs of air in their joints instead of cartilage. Coelophysis is the oldest known dinosaur from North America. And here is a Just large predator bio known bio as Herrerasaurus. Herrerasaurus is the name of one of the largest predatory dinosaurs that lived in the Triassic period. It lived in what is now Argentina about 231 million years ago. Hey there! Folks, this is yeah, Safari Sarah. The Triassic period was the dawn of the age of dinosaurs. I'm going to pause it for a second, okay? I want to I think we're... We're not there yet. This is the... Oh, I see one I'm interested in on the other side. I did too. Oh, I did too. There's a rainbow up here. He is the one from Jurassic Park. Yeah. I'm not Ooh, there's the big one. Ooh, the, the big, big daddy. One. With the, uh, tear, the thing on his back. Look, that's a, that's a dinosaur right there. Mm-hmm. Dinosaur volcano. Not that. <laughs> The one in front of it. A giant snail? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Maybe I think, just showing how things were different. That they, one. Back then, everything was giant. I just think if this were hip hop things or, or little mini concerts, that would be cool. people performing. Don't they have drive by concerts? They can drive like by guitars. A drive through to t the top 10 songs of hip hop of all time. You got somebody playing a guitar, somebody doing a freestyle rap, somebody dressed up like Tupac and Suge Knight. Or, or a memory lane, a drive through tour through memory lane, hip hop's memory lane. Or black history music soul drive through. And you get to one place, it's a person singing Billie Holiday and somebody doing weird stuff. Because this is a YouTube recording. It's not even turned into the radio station. Like, I ain't over Why is it? So even dolphins are giant? Mm -hmm. Dolphins are big now. I wish I could touch that snail's tail or head. Yeah, I just want to touch it. Alright, Ammonites, let's see. It's little a little squid. A little over 200 million years ago, the Earth encountered another mass extinction. Believed to be caused by an increased period of volcanic activity, it caused the extinction of roughly 70% of life on Earth. This wiped out a lot of bigger animals at the time. Without big competitors, dinosaurs thrived. And in the Jurassic period, they quickly became the gargantuan creatures we think of when we hear the word dinosaur. <clears throat> Captain Caleb here. I hope your auto insurance covers water damage because in order to get into the Jurassic well, yeah, period, yeah, no. we're diving deep into the Jurassic Ocean. The big shell you see is an ammonite. Ammonites are cephalopods. That means they are relatives of the squid, octopus, and nautilus. Oh, right. Their spiral shells protected them from predators. Some shells got to reach sizes of six feet across or more. The animal that looks kind of like a small dolphin is an ichthyosaurus. That name means fish lizard. It's an aquatic reptile, not a mammal, so it isn't related to dolphins at all. We can't forget That's about true. the small long-necked animal swimming with it. Yeah, That's a plesiosaurus, oh another important part of this ecosystem. As a wise man once said, there's always a bigger fish. The big critter here is the magical Leo Pluridon. Leo Pluridon was a member of the Pliosaur family, which is a kind of short-necked plesiosaur. It's important to point out that the animals you see here are not dinosaurs, but reptiles that lived in the ocean at the same time as the dinosaurs. Dinosaurs, for the most part, lived on land and had legs that went straight underneath their hips and not splayed out to the sides like lizards or crocodiles. Triceratops. Alright, this will be a good time for you to take a five second nap. No one more riding than them are tonight. They're Tetas house. Whose house? Your tita.
their grandma's so. I don't think they left already. They might be with the babysitter. Don't worry about it. She hired hard. somebody now. <clears throat> This is your history right here. <laughs> you was a dinosaur, Maria? <laughs> we come from dinosaurs, then from monkeys, then from humans. Now, did you know that, Daddy? Mm -hmm. He first, everybody first started off as dinosaurs, then we came from monkeys. Were Adam and Eve uh, cave people? Mm -hmm. Who were they then? Um. Mm -hmm. I don't know how they fell, fall in the grand <sighs> scheme of things. Stop because it takes too long. Yeah, I want to learn how to you put you pictures together. Wait, you can pause it until like you get to the other parts. Press play now. Ranger Marty, pleased to make your acquaintance. Outside of your vehicle is where we keep our Dilophosaurus. Dilophosaurus was a predator from the very beginning of the Jurassic period, around 200 million. Oh. Hello, everyone. This is Park Ranger. Can you hear it? A bearded dragon as a dinosaur. Bearded dragons are dinosaurs. Oh, oh, I thought that was a, that one down there looks cool. I didn't expect this to be so educational. Marty, please to make your or informational. Acquaintance. Outside of your vehicle is where we keep our Dilophosaurus. Dilophosaurus was a predator from the very beginning of the Jurassic period, around 200 million years ago. Now a lot of people have ideas of Dilophosaurus spitting poison or venom or acid. And a lot of the pictures and toys show them with a big frill around their neck. Well, unfortunately, the movies that this idea comes from used what we call artistic license, which is just a fancy way of saying they just plain made it up. We don't know for sure that some dinosaurs didn't spit poison, but we don't have any reason to think that Dilophosaurus did. There's also no evidence that they had that colored ruff. The frill is seen in other creatures when frightened, like a frilled neck lizard or a wild William Shakespeare, but not in Dilophosaurus, as far as we know. Who can name the dinosaur here covered in plates? If you said Stegosaurus, you're right. Stegosaurus is a Jurassic plant eater whose back, neck, and tail were covered in bony plates. Stegosaurus had a special weapon. Along its tail, it had a set of spikes called a phagomizer that it would use to defend itself from predators. And the predator it had to worry about the most was Allosaurus. Oh, T-Rex isn't the only oh, scary like dinosaurs we have here at Jurassic Quest. Allosaurus was one of the larger predators around in the late Jurassic. Allosaurus had long arms for a theropod with big hooked claws. These could help it grip onto its prey while it used its serrated teeth as its primary weapon. We know it used its arms because scientists have found signs of microscopic stress fractures on the bones of their forearms. This happens in bones when a person or an animal is using force to move heavy weight with their bodies. They might have used their arms to keep prey from getting away, or possibly 
to hold on to a Stegosaurus's tail to avoid getting hit. The little guys in the scene are called Guanlong. They're an early member of the Ceolosaur family that lived in what is now China. The Ceolosaur family was made up of mostly small predators. But as time went by, some Ceolosaurs eventually became a bit bigger. Specifically, Tyrannosaurus Rex. Where's T-Rex? The big, long neck dinosaur in this scene is a Patasaurus. A Patasaurus is what we call a sauropod or a long neck dinosaur. Sauropods were the biggest animals to ever walk on Earth. In order to get that big, sauropods had to eat all the time. To eat even more, these long neck giants didn't even waste time chewing. Not the swallow food for leaves them. from trees whole. But they had a special yeah. trick to help them digest Not their food. For them to sauropods would sometimes crane their long necks down to the ground and swallow small stones. Oh, that's a, that's Those not rocks a would help them grind up their food well that's 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 Those rocks are called gastrolites. Dinosaurs by matching the gastrolites back to the areas where the rocks are. The plant eaters didn't need big. Uh, Please pause your teeth. audio tour until your dinosaur herd migrates on up to the next scene. You know, I guess they would have to do this with this kind of audio. We almost went there. Hey guys, welcome back. We had gone through the line, so we're at the next dinosaur. Don't read their license plate. I do have a stamp at the grocery store on the way home. I need some cheese. We need to go to Chewy Land. Okay, now press play. Safari Sarah here again. After the end of the Jurassic, we find ourselves in the early Cretaceous period. The Cretaceous was the longest of the three periods. Strange new life forms, including weird new plants that we call flowers. We're starting off in what is now England during the early Cretaceous, roughly a hundred. I didn't do anything that time. Oh, maybe the internet issue. I mean, you can pause all that. So I'm going to miss it, but the signal, so I'm losing the signal. I can see it's turning. Where's the light? You're staring at me right now. It is. Look like you're looking right over here. <laughs> they are pretty lifelike. Who's actually looking at it? Did you say one? They're pretty lifelike. I don't have a signal. <clears throat> I'd wonder what they did with all the rain that we had. I guess everything out here is waterproof. But that's old fat chubby. Oh yeah, that. Damn, so. That kind of looks like chicken. Mm-hmm. I'll let y'all hear the sounds. Yeah, I have no internet. No! I just did. Maya, you have a signal? Does look like a chicken. His eyes don't open. No, there they are. He has fur. I want to hear about him. What's his name? 
why your why terrain is like he's a squirrel. Look at this little one down here. What are these? Why you? Yes, fur. Oh, I got signal now. Let's see. Okay, I'm, I think we're almost back in business. Has fur on it. Right here. Oh yeah, it does. It has a full head. Maybe because they were in England. Okay, looks like we might be back. Got the picture. Siats. Siats. It's Siats. Look at his eyeballs. They couldn't have had enough food to eat. Oh, look at his uh, stomach. The sides are breathing in and out. This horror migrates on up to the next scene. So these dinosaurs, by matching the gastroliths back to the areas where the rocks originally came from. Please pause your audio tour. grind up their food once it was inside. Of the Ceolosaur family that lived in what is now China. The Ceolosaur family. More. These long neck giants didn't waste time chewing, but swallowed the leaves from trees whole. But they had a special trick to help them digest their food. Sauropods would sometimes crane their long necks down to the ground and swallow small stones. Those rocks would help them grind up their food once it was inside. Those rocks are called gastroliths or stomach rocks in Latin. These gastroliths are super important because they help scientists to learn the migration patterns of these dinosaurs. By matching the gastroliths back to the areas where the rocks originally came from. Please pause your audio tour until your dinosaur herd migrates on up to the next scene. So this, what she's about to talk about is the Safari one we just passed. Safari Sarah here again. After the end yeah. of the Jurassic, we find ourselves in the early Cretaceous period. The Cretaceous was the longest of the three periods of the Mesozoic. The Cretaceous period saw all kinds of strange new life forms, including weird new plants that we call flowers. flowers. We're starting off in what is now England during the early Cretaceous, roughly 120 million years ago. The duck-billed dinosaur you see is what we call an iguanodon, and it's one of the first dinosaurs to be discovered and named. Some of you might have already guessed that iguanodon means iguana tooth. When iguanodon was discovered in England, no one had ever even heard of dinosaurs yet. So when it came time to name this bizarre new animal, the only similarities anyone could think of were that its teeth kind of looked like the teeth of an iguana, only bigger. The very first drawings of iguanodon depicted it as a giant iguana-like creature. The animal it's next to is baryonyx. Baryonyx was a carnivore, and specifically, it ate fish. We know that it ate fish because when the oh, first baryonyx skeleton was found in England in the 1980s, it had fossilized oh, fish yeah, bones and turtle. fish scales inside of its belly, along with a few bones from a young iguanodon. Since it lived in what is now England, as one of its last meals was fish, this could be the earliest evidence of anyone in the UK ordering fish and chips. Our quest has now taken us from Europe to the continent of Asia. Okay, this Still is where we are now. The big dino you see here is U. Tyrannus, the feathered tyrant. Oh, listen. U. Tyrannus is part of the Tyrannosauridae family, 
That means it's a relative of the T-Rex. Eutyrannus lived in the Leonine province like of China. What makes Eutyrannus special is that it is the largest dinosaur that we know of with feathers. We know that Eutyrannus had feathers because of where and when it lived. About 120 million years ago, a volcanic eruption blanketed much of the Leoning province with hot ash. Like what happened at Pompeii thousands of years ago. While that was devastating to the animals at that time, it's great for paleontologists because it preserved soft tissue, in some cases including feathers. Hi, it's Park Ranger Marty again, and welcome to the early Cretaceous North America. The furry guy is Utah Raptor. Now let's see, can anyone guess where Utah Raptor was discovered? Utah! That's right, Cincinnati. <laughs> Just kidding, folks. Utah Raptor was found in Utah. Utah Raptor is the largest known member of the Raptor family. Now behind him is a predator named Seatz. Seatz was a massive predator that lived at the end of the early Cretaceous. Very little is known about Seatz due to how recent of a discovery it is. But it is thought to be a member of the Allosauridae group that lived into the early Cretaceous. Seatz lived in North America at about the same time as some members of the Tyrannosaur family. But those Tyrannosaurs didn't get any larger than about the size of a Great Dane because the alpha predator role had already been filled by Seatz. It wasn't until Seatz went extinct that larger Tyrannosaurs, like Tyrannosaurus rex, took the stage. Also in Saurus, we just saw spent a lot of time in and around water, and that's where we're going. Welcome to the Western Interior Seaway. That's a shallow sea that stretched from the Gulf of Mexico to the Arctic Ocean during the Cretaceous period. The Great Plains of what is now the United States and Canada used to be underwater. Lots of marine fossils are found in places like Kansas. The first creature here is the long-necked Elasmosaurus. It's a relative of the Plesiosaurus, but much bigger. Second is Archelon, the biggest sea turtle known to exist. It had a leathery shell called carapace. And just like sea turtles today, it probably laid eggs on land. The huge, fearsome creature is Tylosaurus. A relative of Mosasaurus, its name means the knob yeah. lizard because of a bony protrusion on the end of its snout oh, wait, that know. might have been used to ram into its prey. Tylosaurus is a member of the Squamata family. That's the group of reptiles that includes lizards and snakes. They had four tongues for tasting sense of the water. <laughs> They even had a row of teeth in the back of their mouths for holding onto prey in the water. And that scary fish that you see that looks like a boss of piranha and a tuna is Zyphactinus. Zyphactinus was a voracious predator that lived in the oceans all over the world. It could reach lengths up to 20 feet long. If you have any other questions about these creatures or anything okay, else you see on the tour, feel free Ceratops. to text Park Ranger Marty at 844 Velociraptor from Jurassic Park. Oh, look at that. So, uh, while doing so, be sure to stay inside your vehicles for the duration what, um, of the what tour. Like with all of these aquatic creatures, the last That's thing you want to do is get your phone wet. Hey, Marty. It's Dustin. I have a weird question here, and don't freak out, but have you seen the T-Rexes? Well, they were in the enclosure an hour ago when I went in to feed them. Are they not still there? We have a tour heading that way right now. Okay, um, it's dinosaurs that are chipped. You don't need to turn it off to walk in. Oh, um, well, I get didn't mean to cause any trouble. It's period. Here we have three okay, kinds of dinosaurs from Mongolia, starting with Velociraptor. Despite what you may have seen in movies, Velociraptor is not six feet tall, but actually about three feet tall, six feet long, and about 20 to 30 pounds. Just think of an extra scary turkey. We also know that at least one Velociraptor attacked a Protoceratops, the next dinosaur in the sea. This is thanks to the fossil of a Velociraptor and Protoceratops found 
who died still locked in combat. The protoceratops broke the velociraptor's arm with its powerful beak moments before they were both buried in sand by a landslide. Look at this one. He's like a duck. The other dinosaur in the scene, Oviraptor, has an unfortunate name, meaning egg thief. When this dinosaur was discovered, it was found over a nest of eggs thought to belong to protoceratops. After later research, now. scientists realized it was sitting on a nest of its own eggs. But the name stuck and is still debated if Oviraptor actually ate eggs. Here at Jurassic Quest, ours take their sunny side up every morning for breakfast. Yet another dinosaur from Mongolia is the large Therizinosaurus you see here with the long claws. The claws on its hands could grow up to three feet long, making them the... We are still looking for more fossils to know for sure. The dinosaur next to it is a Lorotitan, lived in what is now eastern Russia. It's in a special group of duck-billed dinosaurs called Lambiosaurs, which are famous for the elaborate crests on their heads. He looks sleepy. Gigantic source. Look at his ass. Oh, look at this one. Colonotaurus. His arms are tiny. <laughs> Look at this little guy. No, he's a little guy dinosaur. It looks like a sloth. As a dinosaur. No, I'm longer than the other one. This one a lot in books. I guess they left T Rex for the end. Arguably one of the largest meat eating dinosaurs. Though it may look a lot like T Rex, it's actually a much different animal. Unlike a T Rex, it has three claws on each hand, a lighter bone structure, and teeth that were designed for slicing. Unlike a T Rex. Rushing through bones, and which means meat eating bull because of peculiar horns on its head. It might have used its horns as a weapon against other predators. It's, I guess, those wings. Carnotaurus. Oh, that's him. Mommy, I'm not doing it. Slow down, ma'am. I want to look at him. Are those the wings or? Those are the tree. People are behind us. Why? Where are they going? Are those wings? Uh, I don't know if they're supposed to be wings or part of the decorations. Okay. Oh, Albertaurus. 
We see him in the movies a lot. Yeah. And then Anzu. Oh, Anzu was festive. Fur, feathers. Hey, we're going fast, finally. I was putting my truck down. It was in front of me. You dipped off the left. Yeah, man. Over there. Right there. Gray one? Oh, yeah, the white one there. Fast predator that lived in Argentina during the late Cretaceous period is believed to have eaten insects. Uh, ew. Please pause your audio tour until your dinosaur herd migrates on up to the next scene. Welcome to the duck bill dynasty. The dinosaur with the long crest on the back of its head is called Parasaurolophus. Parasaurolophus is a hadrosaur, a family of dinosaurs sometimes called duck billed dinosaurs because of the shape of their snouts. Other hadrosaurs include Iguanodon, Oranosaurus, Allura Titan, and Edmontosaurus, among many others. Parasaurolophus is a cool dinosaur because it's one of the few dinosaurs where we know what they might have sounded like. Paleontologists discovered that by looking at the crest on its head. What they found were tubes inside going back and forth between the nasal passage and the throat. When they recreated blowing air through their tubes, they discovered that the crest would have made a horn sound. Um, the new script here just says make horn sounds. No, guys, I'm not going to do that. Sarah. <sighs> By the way, hadrosaurs. Well, they are kind of red. Maybe not. Looks like a rope with an ant head. Now, if you'd like to learn more about ceratopsians or any dinosaur, you can text your questions to me. Also known as fused lizard. A carnivore was armored from head to toe with bits of bones on their skin called osteoderms. They are known for having a bony club tail, which was used to swing back and forth as a weapon to and possibly even win. Some scientists think it's more likely used for display. Tyrannosaurus Rex! didn't grow until we finally much got to him. It was yeah, a lot of cousins. Changed. And that we're mm -hmm. really seeing here is a juvenile Pachycephalosaurus. But we won't know 
for sure until more fossils are found. I've got great news, everyone. Whoa. Our brand new head security it Lisa. So I want to see him. One of the T Rexes and we'll load it back to his area. Look at that. Great He's news. not breathing. His arms are trying to. Oh, so that means we can He's looking at you, guys. Look at his teeth. They're not as jagged as I thought they'd be. Tyrannosaurus Rex. We're finally caught up. Where where it's matched up now. T Rex and Tammy have the same dental hygiene. Triceratops. That's the last one. Probably the teeth. best one with the shark and ray. Yeah. yeah. Who thinks they're that big and metal beast? They are. I'm not going to let them go. I don't know. Oh, He's like not moving. The street, McDonald's, and you know, that type of stuff. Just on my side. What? And that's the one. Oh. The ocean is, is the least, least unexplored place on mm -hmm. the planet, so they don't know what's down there. Y'all think about where you want to grab something to eat that's on this Concord Mill side. Uh, and don't say Chick fil A. Don't say. Exactly. Zaxby's. No. I want fried pickles. Choose your line. Choose. That's not what it says. Oh, choose anyone. I'm sorry. I thought they would have had toys and stuff at the beginning. That would have made more sense. You have to buy them stuff. Mm -hmm. Hey, ma'am, do they always have this drive-through set up or is it a COVID thing? It, um, right now it's for COVID. But like if this would have been a normal year, it wouldn't... Usually I think it's like a walk-through type of event. Where yeah. It's like a mini fair, but just a bunch of dinosaurs. That's what I thought. Okay. This was smart. If they got all the stuff, you still want to make money somehow. They were going to ask the food. Can we get that small smoky smell to 
this morning.